Hi everyone, it's Diane. Welcome back to my channel, Scrap Edit Creations. Today I have another layout using the These Are My People by Close to My Heart. I have to really focus on that word to say it. It's crazy in my mouth. Um, so the title today I'm looking at is called The Good Doctor. And I shared the pictures yesterday of Miranda and I cut out a ton of little bits. These are all from Miss Kate's Cuttables. This one isn't, it's just a, a tape roll. Uh, the little pill bottle, syringe, and a thermometer, <laughs> tongue depressors, aren't those cute? There's just a little shape and that's it. A little heart with a heartbeat and some little band-aids. Um, I've got the flowers from the um, Cut Above kit. And then I tried a new way on the letters. I'm not sure I love it anymore. There's still some adhesive I, I was messing around with trying to get it all off. Um, but I did use the Create a Sticker Mini today, the one that doesn't put the other piece on top of it, to see if that would be any better. <sighs> Honestly, I think just standard glue. I, I don't know. I'm going to have to go out there and kind of find out what other people are doing a little more. I just haven't had time. Um, I have the three pictures that I showed yesterday. This is where she was looking at the little babies, kind of in like the NICU at the little thing, at the Children's Museum, uh, x-ray, and then the little bear. And so I put those on to, so I guess ingredients, um, onto peach uh, cardstock light. And these are three and three quarters by five and a fourth. The white daisy is three and five eighths by five and one eighth. I have two four inch uh, peach light side circles that I cut. And then these are from the kit. Oh, isn't this little bag so cute? Little doctor's bag. Oh my gosh, so cute. So this was, let me grab them. It's from the layout number seven. And of course, I just cut one off of each one so I could have as much left over, uh, but it was a photo mat. And so I cut the two by, I think it's four and a quarter. Let me double check that. Yes, two by four and a quarter for that. And then these pieces went on, I think the one I was working with yesterday. Um, so this was for another page, page seven. Oh, I guess it's the same page. Yeah, so it's with that other one. And um, these are just a grid pattern with some, I like. I really love this paper. Um, and these are two by six. And then this black pattern paper, because I have two kits. And so on layout number seven, let me grab the other side. This is one side that says so happy together. And this was the other side. And I think it went this way, but let me grab the paper so seven so it was this piece and then this piece and that is that little grid is right back here and then these are the flowers for it this is where that pocket came in I do have another one of the pockets but I'm not going to use it and then this peachy paper behind the photo is what I'm using as well so I'm just using both sheets of the black paper today I love that I can just kind of come in here and change things around to fit my needs Okay, so I'm going to just kind of set some stuff aside real quick. I did not pull out my, here it is, my little ruler because I will need that eventually. I'm also using, like I said, I used them on the, on the, the paper, uh, the black acrylic alphabets. Okay, so I believe I can get started just with the basic assembly of this white paper on the black. So the black is eight and a half by 11 and a fourth. The white is eight and a fourth by 11. And I'm all over the board right now. Sorry about that. Get this down pretty straight-ish. <laughs> I do think this has made my life a little easier using these repositional glue dots. So I will give that probably an A. I wouldn't say A plus because there's times when I I don't like it as much, but that's just because it's in the process of making me do what I don't want to do. <laughs> 
So I'm going to slide all of those little bits to there and I'm going to take all of these bits and put them on here. These mats really do help me out by keeping things from falling through my little slats here. So that's why it's so important that I use them frequently. But I really, really like this kit. I am so sad that I didn't buy a bunch more of it and that it's not available any longer. I hope that it comes back as one of those bring back my packs. I think I'm... Okay. So these papers right here are 6 by 8 that come with the kit. And I would... I wish I could... I'm going to just kind of flip them like that. Yeah, because that'll be a little more visible, and then this will be visible. Or do I want to do? <laughs> That's how I wanted it. Okay. So I want it about two inches down, approximately. Probably about one and three quarters. Mm, do I want it that far down? Do I just want to see what if i put it down here no that's too low yeah about right there okay and let's hope i can do better with this one i am going to put that towards the center i think is that what it was I think I want it edge to edge. Yeah. Come on, paper. Okay, you can do it. You can do it. I'm your favorite person today, so you can do it. There we go. Just had to remind it that it was my I was its favorite person. Okay, so this one starts, it's up there. I'm just going to get this one ready real quick, and then I am going to actually grab, if I can find it, I have to use this one. Okay. Make sure, I guess, first part would be to make sure these are even. <laughs> Doesn't do me a darn bit of good to make sure that these are even, and then not have, make sure this part's even and not have this part even. Sorry if I get my head in the way. Okay. Whew. So normally I would either cut these up, I would mat them, I would do something different. Um, I've been liking to keep them solid for this, this layout set. So it's interesting how my mind is working with these papers. Okay, so now I am going to easily put these guys on, hopefully. And I think I'm going to start with the peach. I just, I need both of these. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> this, is, this is a little tiny itty bitty piece. Okay, so the peach one I'm going to put here. And this one I wasn't thinking. And this is going to probably be a bad option on both sides. So I will probably have to fix that. So far it's doing pretty good though. that up a smidge more yeah I will be very happy when that other adhesive gets back in stock <laughs> I have a lot more freedom on my layouts with that and then I'm just going to kind of go in here and cover to where I want to which is about there because I'd like to see more of this piece than this piece 
But if you remember, this is layout 16, and I believe that is the one I also did. I don't remember the paper, so sorry. Um, where I had like it just kind of went opposite, and I and I did this, and then I did did it over here, and I really like the feel of that with where I'm headed on this layout. Um, parts of this are going to get covered up, which is you know always sad, but so like this is going to go up here. Like these are my thoughts so far. I also like the fact that I'm going to the end. Let me see here. I'm going to pull this paper up. Oh, hope it does as well as it did over here. Crossing my fingers. It's just pulling the paper up. Let's see here. Oh, do, 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 do. I'm going to have to add some more adhesive down here. Which is fine. If I was thinking I would have done that ahead of time. Okay, there we go. So now I have that there. I can re-put this one down. It's not liking to stay. Okay. Pros and cons of repositional adhesive. And I have been stalking my Notions rep about that other adhesive. It might get to the point where I just go and order it and see if they've got it on Amazon or something because it is so much more forgiving than this stuff. I love this stuff. Don't get me wrong. It's just not great if you're going to make any sort of a boo-boo. Okay, let's see here. Oh, come on, let me in. <laughs> oh, goodness. There we go. And then I can just take this little bit off that I replaced. Okay, so there is that. And then because I want these circles down, I'm just going to put them as part of the base paper. Another area that I could have done would have been to op put them on the opposite, but I liked how this kind of felt. Let me put that on there. I just like the feel of it in that corner. And it'll make much more sense from when I put all the little bits on. I was just playing with the bits and I liked the way it felt on these little circles. I didn't like when they were just kind of hanging. Okay, before I go any further though, I am going to attempt to put this verbiage down, this uh, title just because of the fact that it is going to continue to bug me. Oh, this stuff is such a mess. But once this part is down, I can I can work with that um, to kind of balance out the rest of the layout. I did, of course, find that font again. Let me click on it. Come on, you can go there. It is BFC Frosty Winters. That doesn't sound like the other one I was using. So maybe there's a bunch of them that look this. Oh, no, the G is different. It is a very cute one. I will go find the actual. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave that all in. Well, it's just stick up a little bit. I'm going to lower that a little. There we go. Hmm, maybe I'll take the G off for just a second so that I make sure that these letters are the same. Okay, now I can go back and put that G on. That G was aggressive. It already ripped the paper. 
just slightly, but enough that it was kind of annoying. Do I want that up higher? I'm looking in the... Mm, looks like a nine to me. Eh, that'll be good. Spaced quite a bit here, but that's okay. I really just wanted to take up this whole top area for that. Okay, so since this was like the first area she was in, I wanted to keep that there. And these were over in the second area and they kind of pertain together. Now the nice part about this for me, like with yesterday's layout with the dentist, is Miranda would go to Shriners and to her doctors a lot and they were constantly putting casts out of the same material on her feet for like um, uh, shoe inserts and assorted different things. And so it was really cool that she was able to play with this and liked putting it on the bear. I, so I thought it was really cool that this was kind of an option for, for kids to learn about these things. And it wasn't in a setting that they were the ones that were the focus. So she was focusing on other things. And I thought that was really, really just a, a really fantastic way of incorporating this into her life. So I'm going to put the pictures down because I want to build around the pictures. And of course I want the pictures to be like the focal point, but at the same time, the stuff I cut out was so cute. I just couldn't pass it up. Okay. I think about right there. That's not exactly where I had envisioned it in the first place, but I think I kind of like it. I did get some adhesive over here on this picture, and I keep using my little adhesive eraser, and it's not the greatest. I'm like fighting adhesive today. Okay, so I wanted this little guy, <laughs> isn't he cute, up there. And let's see here, kind of like that. I was thinking this little heart here. I liked the little pill bottle over here with the stethoscope kind of overlapping. I liked the thermometer over here with the syringe. Let's see. Okay, maybe more at an angle. It's kind of touching her head though. Okay. And then we've got these little tongue depressors. I, at first I had put them up here, but I just thought felt they kind of got lost. But I don't know. Well, let's see. I definitely want a Band-Aid over here. There's Band-Aid there. I liked the tape roll up here for the bag. Just kind of tucking that somehow in here. Hmm. I kind of like that little bouquet of medical equipment. And then we've got some little flowers that I thought looked kind of cool here. I'll grab a bigger flower up maybe down here. I'm not sure. Let's play. Mm, not sure on that one. Let's set that aside. Okay, let's grab this one. I know I wanted a flower right by this little heart monitor. I thought that was really cute. And I wanted some flowers inside here. These leaves are much better today. I'm a lot happier with them. That's going to have to kind of go over a smidger. And then the pills. I want. I love these pills. They're so cute. I just wanted to kind of do it like what I do with my um, uh, sequins and just kind of plop them down. Okay, so there's those, that, that, and then maybe uh, this is one of the big leaves. So that. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of like it. Let me look up the screen. This area right here kind of feels empty. I wonder if it would be better to put... No, I like them on the on the thing, on the little medical bag. But the flower... No. Let me look at the flower again down there. 
Yeah, I think I like that. I think I like this. Okay, so I'm going to start with the simple one because this is the easiest one to put on. And then that one will be the next easiest. Kind of just put these on and uh, got to keep them within their paper scope. And I just used tear tape on these today. It was much easier. Got to go to Home Goods today with Miranda. That was fun. Found some fun stuff. I do love a good Home Goods trip. Okay. Found a little tiny gnome 4th of July pillow that was kind of cute. Not as big as my other pillows, but I thought it'll be nice to have a little tiny pillow. Okay, so I'm going to place this down there so that it's not touching the heads. And then let's see if I can stick these little guys under there since I didn't push down too much. I did like this. I didn't put any adhesive on this one. I think I'm just going to put it on the base here, this little tiny bottom area. I did this in light mink because the handle is in dark mink. I also didn't put anything on the band-aids because I wasn't sure if I was going to be putting them um, popping them or if I was going to be putting them light but on that area I definitely want it you know kind of lower so this has popped up okay take the adhesive off of this little guy and this guy now these cut files were a part of I believe all three of the doctor cut files on Miss Kate's cuttables I'm probably doing this a little wrong Hmm, kind of like that. Yeah, I think that's a little better. And um, so I got all three of them today. It was like $2.58 or 78 cents, something like that for all three of the cut files. <clears throat> and one of them is about being sick. One is a doctor one and trying to think what the name of the files are. Let me actually pull that up. Because that one's pretty easy to get to. And I will have all those files um, below. Let me look. Sorry, it's taken a smidge. But she has one that's called Doctors and Dentists uh, category. And so it, the that, that Hurt title, I might have used the Band-Aid off of that one. They have an x-ray there, and I debated the x-ray, but I liked some of the others a little better. Doctor Visit has um, the doctor bag and the um, these. Now, they do have faces on them. Everything had faces like this. These little guys had faces. Um, there was a, there's a pill that has a face. Uh, I guess this piece didn't have a face, and that was on that one. And then there's a get well soon. Oh, sorry, you're sick? No, the get well. Get well soon's the one I did. And so that one has this heart, the pill bottle, and the syringe, and the Band-Aid. So very, very cute. It also has an, a standard like aspirin pill, but I didn't think we needed that one. I liked the little capsules anyway. So that's why I went with those. But I was really happy with this set. And there's plenty of room right here to put some journaling when I figure out everything I'm going to say about it, which is probably going to focus on a little bit of this, um, the cast area because of the fact that that was something Miranda did deal with at Shriners. OK, 
Okay, and I don't see if I can figure out how this is all going down. I don't have any adhesive on this one. I kept trying to put adhesive on things I knew for sure I wanted adhesive on and things I might pop. I just kind of was like, eh, I'll figure it out as we go. Because until this, the base paper's down, I really, I mean, I have a good idea of what I want to do. I just don't have a, the perfect idea of how it's going to be implemented. That, I hope I said that right. Implement, eh, implementation is what I'm talking about. So if I said the word wrong, sorry. <laughs> okay, let's see here. I want that at an angle. Let's put some tape on this band-aid. These are the cutest little band-aids. I know um, from watching somebody else's YouTube that band-aids are a trigger. I hope paper band-aids are not a trigger because <laughs> they're just so cute. Uh, let's see here. I might want that up a little bit. Let me put this flower on first. I should have thought about that before. Put that there. I think I moved things over. Of course I did, is what's in my head right now. Um, I need to put this down like that. Okay. And then I think I'll put the... Uh, yeah, that's not too bad. And then I'll put this little flower over here. And then I just have those pills. And I am going to attach the pills with a, the wet glue. That will be much easier. Okay, so I have five of them, and I'm going to just kind of drop them. I don't like that. I don't like that drop. I like that. Okay. Add an ankle. Put that one up and down. Oh, yeah, I'll put that one up top there. Eh. The only one that's kind of bugging me is this one. Okay, I think it's going to stay now. Okay. So I am completed with the Good Doctor layout. I really love this one, it's so fun. This has really been a fun layout. I'm really excited about this one. And I love the fact that I've got a bunch of stuff done for this little trip so far. I think I might tackle water tomorrow. I'm not sure, I've got water. She played in about four different water areas because this child loves water. And then I've got some clay pictures. I think there's some painting pictures, but I'm gonna go through those pictures and just see which ones are the best and kind of like with the water, just kind of choose maybe five of the best picks. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come play today. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe if you would love to see more of my videos. Leave a comment. I always appreciate those and I try to get back as soon as possible on those. And have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.